Hello everyone, this is Zahid from Inspiring Ignite and in this video I am going to cover uh, gate changes that are going to happen in gate 2014. As soon as the gate 2013 notification came out, I made a small video saying that there will be a drastic change in gate 2014 and uh, most of the papers will be online. So when I, when I started hearing about the changes that are going to happen in gate 2014, like many people came up with the idea of like two level papers and all that. Because many PSUs and many other organizations started recruiting students from uh, based on the, these scores. So that this happened uh, because of this confusion was created because of that reason. And eventually many of the doubts that students had about like changes in gate 2014 were cleared out after the release of the tender notice from IIT Kharagpur which is who is going to organize the gate 2014 exam too. I read this complete tender notice and there are a few things I'd like to share with you so that uh, you can get ready and get st and start preparing for the gate uh, 2014. The first thing is all papers are now online and there are no multiple levels of question, uh, multiple papers for some certain things. Like for example like advanced uh, gate paper and the advanced gate paper, they are not two different papers. They're, for every single paper there will be only one exam conducted. And the only thing is that's going to happen is all the exams are online this time. And the second thing I would like to share with you is the question paper, online question paper consists of two things like uh, two type of questions like one is multiple type questions and other one is uh, like numerical questions. Multiple choice like you have to select the choices and the numerical questions you have to enter the numbers. So the gate paper is similar, the pattern of the gate paper would be similar to the previous pattern. I mean uh, there will be 65 questions and for 100 marks there will be negative marking for the negative questions. There are like uh, sections for general aptitude and, uh, and mathematics compulsory for all and then after that these kind of things are, are, are there. So almost the same pattern is there. I would like to, I will make another video or I will like, uh, I will write a post like how the paper will be, the pattern of the paper will be. Because the pattern is mostly like uh, based on the pattern of the previous exams which are conducted online. So that's what is mentioned in the, uh, in the, in the standard notice. And the another thing is like uh, the question paper, uh, the question paper is like not same for all the students. This is another another change that is uh, uh, gate committee is looking for. They make a database of questions, and from that database, usually questions will come. And students, uh, every student might get a different question at a, at instance of time. So this is this will make it more like uh, closely to the prometric exams, like for example GRE, TOEFL, GMAT, and all that, because they have a database of questions and based on. So probably in in coming gate exam. They will slowly adopt the approach of uh, prometric uh, examinations. Like, for example, uh, the difficulty of the question paper will be decided based on the based on the answers you give before. So that will also help them to determine the ability of the student. So if the student answer one easy question, they will give a difficult question. If he cannot answer the easy question, they will give another easy question. So this kind of improvements can be done in the software to to make it more closely. Uh, to look like uh, the prometric exams now. So I think eventually gate is leading towards that. So smart students will always get a good paper and they get a good score and they eventually... But for now gate 2014 I think are very very clear that only paper questions are selected randomly. So these kind of algorithms are not being yet designed. So probably in two, gate 2015 and beyond that this is going to happen because I read in few reports that they are also consulting with the international test conducting organizations. So they must be looking for this kind of change and I think that's a positive change for the students who really work hard. The another thing with this in GATE 2014 is that like the beautiful thing about it is like uh, the c company who is going to make this software for, for IITs, GATE, uh, GATE online exam software, they are going to conduct a mock test between uh, January 25th to I think uh, 29th and also yeah so the, also the thing is like uh, they will announce the results too 
to make sure that uh, when, when they take the final gate exam, the results and everything is correct. So I think that could be a good opportunity for the students to like prepare well now and check in check their ability in the gate mock test, which is going to be conducted like a month, almost a month, second week, maybe two or three weeks before the gate actual gate exam. So you also get an all India rank and you get all feeling about that. So I think that would help students to prepare well for the gate exam. So with these changes, I would like to conclude this video, of course, and then I want you to think about this like. This is just online exam now, but in future, they are going to incorporate, what I am predicting is, there will not be a two level exam, two, two papers based exam, like main paper and then advanced paper, no. So what I am predicting from this is like, there will be changes in the exam itself, like the way they shoot the questions to the students, it's not same for everyone. They are going to adopt kind of policy that uh, is the, the algorithm that is being adopted by Prometic centers after years and years of research and uh, experiment in the uh, test exams. So I think that would make it make the gate exam very difficult for the students and also like uh, for average students I would definitely recommend like try to crack the gate exam this year and this could be a good opportunity for you because gate for gate 2015 the gap is too high and there can be a lot of changes. If I am in charge of this thing, I would do a lot of changes in like one year time. So based on, based on my thinking, based on my, my approach, what I feel is like it is going to be an enormous change in GATE. So the more time GATE, is, GATE committee is spent on improving it, the more difficult it will become for the, for the average students. And I think eventually it will land up in the same way as uh, the as the prometric gate exam, international uh, uh, test taking agencies uh, will formulate the examination. So with this, I think uh, you are very clear now. Gate Gate 2014 will have only little changes. The first change is all papers are online. The second change is the uh, there is no actually second change. There will not be any change in the structure of the question paper. There will not be any change maybe in, in the syllabus. We will have to wait and see like what is uh, what gate committee is having for that. And the, and the thing is like the, the, the gate committee is like gate organization. The, the company which is going to organize an online gate exam will conduct a mock test and you all get, a, and get an opportunity to see the, how the test will be conducted and as well as you will get an opportunity to see your All India rank on based on like based on the mock test not the final test. So I wish you all very good luck with this and I would like to ask you like I asked you in all the videos to subscribe to Inspiring Ignite YouTube channel, to subscribe to Inspiring Ignite itself, like us on, on Facebook or follow us on Google Plus so that like you can get all the updates related to GATE 2014, MTech 2014 admissions and like uh, updates about uh, all other engineering and other stuffs. Thank you so much for the watching and I wish that this video is helpful for you all. Thank you.